ask, how did you get to the place where you decided you were going to work, do ancestor work? Yeah, I think, well, being a descendant of, of, of slaves, of enslaved Africans, growing up in South Carolina, I always had um, a desire to, to be a freedom fighter. That, that was my goal when I was a child. I wanted to be a, a justice worker. I wanted to, and the, the, uh, the civil rights workers were my heroes. So I was always looking for a way to uh, make a contribution to the liberation of Black people. And I did all kinds of things. I, I studied sociology. I did community uh, development. I did community arts. I went to seminary. I studied uh, African spirituality. And I was initiated in all of this. And I still felt like there was a missing piece. And when I heard about African ancestry and I heard about uh, ancestral healing work, I decided to become certified as an ancestral lineage healing practitioner as a way of helping Black people. Because by this time, I had come to realize that we needed to be reconnected, that there was some power in being reconnected. And I, I began to do that research to find out, well, what's the value in doing uh, ancestral work? And then what I discovered was that um, some of the research shows that even thinking about the ancestors creates a positive psychological effect that can help people perform better intellectually, just thinking about their ancestors. And then there's, there's research with adolescents showing that adolescents who know their family narrative uh, have stronger coping skills, have, um, uh, are more resilient, are, are better able to self-regulate and uh, to perform well. So just knowing those um, bits of information were, uh, kind of was motivating for me to be to say, okay, this is uh, something, this is a strategy that I want to be able to take to more and more Black people.